Wake up. Wake up. What? I can't sleep. Oh, my God. Are you making a video? No. Welcome to UK Film News. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, can you please tell us a little bit about the film? Uh, Adult Life Skills is a film about a girl who has lost her twin brother and has moved back home to live with her mum and her nan at the shed at the bottom of her mum's garden and is making videos with her thumbs. And it's about her trying to get out of that sort of bad pattern and her mum and nan and everyone is trying to encourage her to stop doing that. You look like a homeless teenager. Some men like women who aren't made an effort. If you two don't get out of here in five seconds, I will pull back this curtain. Oh, my God, what is that? Mum! Oh. Oh. Are you living in here? Yeah, I just needed some space. It's not a lot of space in here. It's not normal living in my shed at your age. Well, you live with your mum and you're well old. I've got something for you. I had arms in her face. Ah. I was going to text a photo to you, but I thought you wouldn't believe it, so I thought I'd bring it to you, but now I'm just standing here holding what looks like an old man's dick. So, um, how did you get involved in the project? Well, I wrote it and directed it, so it's my idea. Um, uh, I just kind of... Jodie, who's the lead, is my one of my best friends, and... Um, we were both working in the film industry. I was working as an editor, and then uh, she was working as an actress, and we knew that we would like to work together, but we weren't getting the opportunity to work on the same kind of projects, and so we went on holiday to Paris, and we were saying, hey, really, maybe we should just make our own project, and then, you know, two months later, here we are. No, it was like eight years or something, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, since this is your debut um, directing and writing, um, what kind of challenges did you face and what did you anticipate when um, just taking on the, the massive, massive project of creating a, a feature film? Oh, I suppose I didn't anticipate being really, really skint for three years. I didn't anticipate how little money you earn. Um, and I think... Uh, other than that, I had a fairly good idea of what it was going to be like doing the script development and things because working as an editor, I've been through the process and other people's projects and so I know that it takes a long time to get things going and stuff like that. I had a quite a big problem in the beginning sort of communicating the tone of the project when I was saying, hey, it's a comedy about grief and everyone was going, no one's going to watch it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it, there's lots of obstacles when you're making films and they're always sort of different on project to project but I mean actually ours was pretty smooth sailing I think. Well you've proved all the critics wrong because um, you got the Nora Epfen um, award uh, yeah um, and also nominated for BAFTA um, yeah the short the short that you created um, so <laughs> well done um, <laughs> Yeah, um, a very uh, like a testament to um, females in, in the industry. Uh, is that something you feel very passionate about um, and encourage filmmakers, women in front and behind the screens? Yeah, I mean, I was just talking about this on the way here. Like, it's really... Uh, one of my friends was teaching at the NFTS at the film school, National Film School today, and they were saying that on the director's course there, there's not very many women. And um, I just find it really uh, depressing. I don't, I can't quite understand what it is that's preventing women from coming through. But at the same time, even though I'd written this script, there was a long period of time when I was, I didn't want to um, direct it. And even analysing that myself, trying to work out what it was that was preventing me from doing it was, you know, it's quite, it's not straightforward. So, yes, more girls. I'd like to see more girls in films, making films, writing films, going to see films. Mm. Well, this, uh, the film is about adult life skills. Um, are there any ones that you're particularly not uh, <laughs> uh, skilled in? I can't spell. I can't do maths. Um, like, oh my god, I'm so unskilled in so many things, it's ridiculous. Um, like, like doing these interviews. It's really hard. The skill that I would like to have right now is making all the anecdotes that I tell in all my different interviews sound really fresh for every yeah. single one when I'm saying the same like thing every single time. So yeah. It doesn't help that we ask the exact same questions over and over again. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they're different. I had somebody asking me this morning um, for true or false facts about sheds. Okay. Uh yeah. Relates. <laughs> um, sheds, okay. <laughs> um, 
So uh, you've taken a lot of inspiration, I guess, from your own life, I would assume. <laughs> uh, yes, I don't. I don't have. A, I haven't lost a twin or anything like that. But I mean, I have um, lived in a shed, and uh, I have made videos with my thumbs. Yeah. And um, I guess you just draw on things from your own life that uh, you can bring into your story. Maybe when you're making your first film, so that it feels sort of easier and more natural and, and kind of authentic, I guess, in that sense. Yes. Please, please tell me the thumb videos are on YouTube. Oh my God, there's millions of them. Are you joking? <laughs> One of them just went out about female filmmakers okay. on um, Women in Hollywood the other week, and it's also on the Stylist website and everything. So, yeah. We'll give it a thumbs up. <laughs> um, my, my weakness is puns. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be like you when I'm older. That's nice. I meant sad and angry all the time. I'm not sad and angry all the time. I like your friends, Ed. I've got friends. I'm turning 30 in two days and I live in a shed at the bottom of my mum's garden and I make videos with my thumbs. Anna's problem is her childhood ambition was to be rescued by David Hasselhoff of Baywatch. Man, I wish your age, I wanted to have an adventure. Oh, oh Jesus, she God. doesn't need a bloody adventure. This is my new hairdresser. Don't walk off. It comes to give you a nice haircut. This is what happens if you stay around here, you turn into that. Are you okay? No. Everyone's angry with me. Sometimes I wish the suffragettes aren't bothered. All I've been trying to do since I came back is make you smile again. Oh, you fucked that up, haven't you? Um, is there something that you feel um, children can, uh, I guess, teach adults um, when, it, when it comes to embracing their inner child and not being such an adult all the time? Yeah, I think like children have a way of sort of cutting through the nonsense and just saying things as they are. This is a, a, like a psychologist who did a load of experiments in the 60s and he used to um, get his adult students to... Uh, draw a picture of the person next to them and he said when you get adults to do this they do it and then they turn around and show it to the person next to them and they go oh I'm really sorry oh you don't look like that it's just that I can't draw and all this kind of stuff and when they get kids to do it kids draw the person next to them and then they show it and they go yeah that's what you look like <laughs> and they yeah they're just really brave in their creative decisions and I think like keeping hold of that kind of belief in your own sort of creativity is quite important I guess. Is there anything that you would tell your uh, yourself as a child if you could go back, um, especially being somebody in the creative industry, what would you impart on yourself in the past? Um, make lots of cups of tea. <laughs> That's how you don't get fired. <laughs> So um, the East End Film Festival, um, very iconically London, um, thank you so much for being here. Are there films that you are particularly going to be checking out this week? To be honest, I haven't seen a huge amount that I know is going to be on, but I know that Ali Katz was on last night, and yeah, it's at them, I was on the same sort of build your audience course with those guys, and so I'm really happy that they're on. I've seen a lot of the short films because I'm on the jury this year. Um, yeah, so that was fantastic. I really enjoyed the whole thing. I love the East End Film Festival. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's so cool. Mm. Well, thank you so much for talking to us, and lovely meeting you. Thank yeah, you. Lovely to meet you, too. How is your period? Don't ask that. Don't ask that. You don't ask that. Why would I say that? I said it because Fiona told me to ask you. She thought you'd be impressed, but it felt wrong instinctively as I was saying it.